Watershed album as well, you, you know, as we said earlier, creatively, it represented the point at which we probably became a songwriting unit in Definitely, terms of yeah. right, right, doing what we do. Up till then, I think we were feeling our way towards it. It was the, yeah. in a way, it was the first true album of the five of us, wasn't it, creatively? Yeah. I think sonically it stood the test of time, actually. It does sound yeah. really good still. Um, you know, some ones. albums, you listen to them and you can really hear when they were recorded because of the the type of effects that are used and the sonics and the, the you know the, yeah. the drum sound especially tends to change a bit you know with fashion well, but th th this album not not the playing i mean the actual you know you know like the gated snare drum of phil collins <laughs> from the 1980s never changes that sort of thing. Ian, don't worry but this th this album doesn't sound as dated in any way like that i think no, the drum sounds never change over 30 years i like to progress come on <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the, the sound of it is, is almost incidental in a way because it, it, by having the right musical parts and stuff there as well, the sound looks after itself a lot of the time. Yeah. You know, if you try to put the sound ahead of the part, it's a recipe for disaster. If it's the right musical part, it's very easy to make it sound good. You know, and, it's, and often it, it makes its own sound and you have to realise you've got that when you've got it. Again, it's like that's my side of not screwing around with something, right. allowing it to be yeah. what it is, and then four weeks later it'll sound great, even though it was annoying you that little click or something, the buzz, or was annoying you at the time. And but it's actually what makes it special. Yeah, you wanted the imperfection. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You wanted the sounds of an instrument. Yeah. Whereas you know, you'd normally go into a studio and people would say, "Oh, there was a bit of noise on that string. Can you play that yeah. again?" Dave would be, "No, no, no." Yeah. We're yeah. keeping that. I'm not yeah. saying, are you sure you want to keep that? Yeah. Oh, yes. It's a whole yes. an antithesis of, of that yeah. sterile approach to, to recording and 
production, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. But what was said earlier is definitely <laughs> right. It, it, this album brought the band together, going down the same street. You know, going down the. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Briefly. Briefly. <laughs> <laughs> Only briefly. <laughs> On a good day. Joking, of yeah. course. <laughs> mm. In the same part of town, anyway, we yeah. were for a while. I think Brave actually um, cemented our existing audience in, in, in the sense that we did something that's really adventurous and the people that we managed to bring with us which wasn't the you know the the millions of people that bought Kaylee and misplaced childhood but you know those people stuck with us probably right, right to this day a lot of them so that I think it did a great job in that sense I think there was another watershed that it sort of brought with it as well which was that it dispelled going forward it dispelled quite a lot of fear that the band had of changing and, w and what the band represented and what we were supposed to sound like and what we're supposed to look like yes. and what the artwork's supposed to be you know I think I think the band was quite conservative in a lot of ways and and you know may, maybe as a consequence of of the the considerable commercial success not as conservative as most successful artists might have been but but at the same time I think Brave perhaps reassured us all that we could do something really out there and adventurous and and that was scary I, I remember being quite frightened when it was being mixed and thinking what on earth are they going to make of this because it doesn't sound like anything we've ever done it doesn't sound like anything the band's ever done it's out there, Jesus, you know. But we were confident about it as well, weren't we? We were really pleased with what we'd done. I was unsettled though. I, 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 did, what, I did wonder what the audience would make of it. And I think having, having kind of got away with Brave, we all felt we could get away with a lot more going forward. Father Christmas in his spare time. It's a vote. I'm going to be obscene so you can't never use it. Go on then. Twat. <laughs>